used to people being attracted to you. I suppose that's one of the key things that a lot of people go wrong with in the Philippines. In the West, you can find women can be quite brutal sometimes. In the Philippines, you'll find that women are all approachable. Even married women are approachable, unfortunately. <laughs> no, but the, um, they're easy to talk to. They're easy to get along with. So many women just want a good husband and a happy life in the Philippines due to the corruption. So don't say economic circumstances, because it's not economic, it's corruption. Get rid of corruption, the rest of it will fall into place. Um, the Philippines is rich enough. I mean, that's the thing. It is not a poor country. It's just managed very poorly. It's ridiculously rich in natural resources. But the the fact is, a lot of guys go wrong because I think they feel the first woman they've talked to, met, or whatever, is the one where they should actually spend a bit more time. They'll, they'll find that she may be the one, but... This other person might be a bit better. Also, they may find out that she's a scammer. She's a rip-off artist. She's money-hungry. Um, she's everything that they didn't want originally. The grim reality is, you've got to take your time. I don't know, some people are like, well, I've only got a month. I've got to go back to work. Or I've only got two weeks. Uh, this is your life you're talking about. Get it wrong, you can spend the next five, ten years with the wrong person. Get it right, and you can spend a lifetime with a person that makes you happy, a person that you make happy, a person that enjoys being around you, a person that you enjoy being around. Um, I don't know if it can get any more simple than that, but rushing into a relationship, it's like just rolling the dice. You don't know what you're getting. You don't know the person. I know they talk to you online and you're like, oh, what if somebody else comes along? Then they come along. Um, I know I try, it sounds a bit like a commodity, these relationships, but they're not. This is what people need to understand. There's no race. There's no rush. You don't rush into your relationships in the West, or you shouldn't do. Um, so don't do the same when you go to the East. If they find somebody else, then so what? They obviously weren't as committed to the relationship as much as you were. They were just looking for somebody to marry. Um, or a visa. Or money. They weren't looking for love. They may find love later. Um, they may empty somebody's bank account during that time. Who knows? You'll just have to wait and see. But the, the main thing here is you just spend your time. Get to know people. Get to realise there is no rush on any of this. Nothing at all. Um, a friend of ours, Tim, I think we've known Tim now for probably seven years. Um, <coughs> he still hasn't found the one, um, but he's met a few women over that period of time. So, yeah, just take your time. There's no rush. And the other thing is finding the best women takes a lot of time. Um, because they're not online as much. Also, networking with people like myself, we normally have two or three people we know that are looking to get married, um, but we also know their background. We know if they're compatible, you know, because once I actually understand that you, I can actually direct you to the right type of women that I already know. Um, now this isn't a dating service by the way, I don't want to get inundated with like, hundreds of requests to help them f people find a partner, um, but I'm just saying that knowing people that are married to people from the Philippines already, know people in the Philippines etc, um, they can do a lot of the groundwork for you, because they already know who who works for a living, who is, isn't married already, who is a good person, somebody that matches you in the um, hobbies, what do you call it, um, mannerisms, 
interests, etc., uh, to try and get somebody that's on the same level. But one thing's for sure is don't rush. Thanks for watching.